Hello and welcome to this tutorial on using the badges feature found in Synab. Badges are one of the most powerful and often overlooked production tools. They allow the creation of multiple copies of a design where you can specify text components to be variable. Now these text components can be replaced with specific words or they can be serialized numerically or alphabetically. In this example, the task of the sign maker is to produce 16 parking reserved signs for a blue chip company staff car park. The main design is finished and as this is a print and cut job, I have already placed a contour cut line around the edges of the sign. Each sign needs a different staff name on it and it also requires a different parking space number. Now the obvious and long-winded way to produce this would be to manually make up the 16 different signs, changing the data for each one as we go. However, using Synab's badges function, this can be done automatically. When we use badges in this way, it will be necessary to have a text replacement file. This can simply be a notepad document with the required details on. In this method actually lies another key advantage. Asking the customer to supply you with a text file containing the staff names will save you time and it will also relieve you of the burden of spell checking. I have my text file from the customer here and all I have basically done is ask them to list the names in order of priority for their designated space. So Matthew Spate will be space number one, Lisa Taylor space number two and so on. Now I'm almost ready to get started and launch the badges function. All I need to do is group my objects together. However, it's important not to group the text fields that I will be replacing on each sign I create. So take a look at the sign on screen. As already mentioned, we will be replacing the parking bay number and the staff member's name. So these two objects must remain ungrouped. I'm going to select the number, then press and hold the shift key and select the name. So I now have both of them selected. On the center selection nub, I'm gonna press the shift key and at the same time, right mouse click. And what this will do, this will place a guide directly through the center of my objects, creating a reference point of their position. So with that done, I can move those objects to one side. And now all I need to do is marquee select the remaining objects on screen, go to the layout menu and select group. I can now select the text items and using the guides put them back in exactly the same position they were before. So I now have three separate groups, one for the staff parking number, one for the name and one for all other objects that make up my design. Now with my text replacement data sorted, I can select all of my objects and launch the badges feature from the layout menu. The first task is to enter the number of copies to be produced in this case 16. Next in the blank size I'm going to set a page size for the media I have in my device and the width is around 720 millimeters. The height of the page would generally be the length of the roll of media I have loaded in the device but I'm actually going to set the height to 500 millimeters and this is to break the printing of these signs into manageable sections. Sending four individual jobs will allow you to start laying up each set of signs as they finish rather than waiting for all 16 to print. The other advantage is that this will not commit your printer to such a large period of solid production. So if you need to interrupt this print and do an emergency job, you won't have to wait ages or worse still waste material by stopping the job prematurely. The preview down the bottom displays that we can fit four to each page without problem. For this design, all the objects that will remain constant have been grouped together, leaving me with two separate text fields. One is the parking bay number and the other is the staff name. And these two fields show here in the replacement text window. What I need to do now is highlight them and click this browse tab and locate the text file sent to me by my customer. Okay, so here it is, so I simply click open and I can now click OK, which will reveal the text substitution window. You can see Synab has already entered all of the names for the different staff members, so all I need to do now is replace the numerical data. To do this, I can simply click on this field and then select the serialization tab. I can now enter a start number of one and set each sign to increase in value by one. 
Clicking OK will display my 16 numbers entered in the correct field. I can now simply click OK again, and that's it. I have now 16 individual signs ready for production on four separate pages. You can see the first four signs ready for production on screen. And if I click the page and tool here in the lower right hand corner, I can navigate through the other three pages. It's now simply a case of hitting F3 on the keyboard to select all objects, going to the file menu and selecting print and cut. As I send the job to print, I will select the option to print all pages. The job will then automatically arrive in Synab's print and cut manager as four separate manageable print and cut jobs. I can then highlight each one in turn and use the new preview area to identify each set of signs. Okay, so we have one to four, five to eight. Okay, and then when ready, I can send each group for production. So that's the badges function, a powerful but simple tool that works seamlessly from creation to output in Synab.